Don't fight it. Surrender to these tracks. It's Careful not to contract the gangrene. I should have hit it, but then I'd be a murderer from where I was sitting at. I couldn't reach the burner, bro. You see what Rita's mom is smacking with the furniture. Then the bitch disappeared and said, bring back some burn. What's up? What's up? For your girl. Next time you come to do, try to smoke. Night, but she came back right. Tiptoeing in the room, trying not to wake me. Slip tinkle.
What brings you in today? Should be running better than ever. You got great taste. If that car was a woman, I'd guess her.
Fantastic. Man, I love the internet. In San Andreas, we recycle everything, including the tired old adage that we're going to pull ourselves out of this financial shithole. But you can pull yourself out of your financial situation by donating your car to an unspecified, ambiguous charity. It's shipped to China to be disassembled by children who go blind from mercury exposure while you get a healthy tax write-off. We rip off charities while you rip off Uncle Sam by massively overvaluing that rust bucket in your tax returns. And everyone's the winner. Donate your car today. Weasel News. A drug deal goes very wrong. Mexican gang Los Verios Aztecas, now active in the Alamo Sea region of San Andreas. A rally of sick patients to legalize medical cocaine turns violent. Reclusive director Dreyfus back behind camera. Something went very wrong as a drug deal at a recycling plant in La Puerta turned into a violent shootout, leaving several gang members dead and police confused as to what has caused this recent upsurge in extreme gang crime. The police have called for calm and responded by flying a lot of helicopters over poor neighborhoods all night long in a show of community spirit. Rural areas outside Los Santos are reporting a dramatic increase in gang violence in areas once thought immune to the scourge of organized crime. Reports say Latino street gang Los Verios Aztecas have been shifting operations to outside of the city, a trend that worries rural residents, many of whom are irrationally afraid of minorities anyway. Proposition 208 is on the ballots and has many asking why this wonder drug was outlawed in the first place. Patients in wheelchairs and yuppies in sports cars crowded a park in Los Santos to rally for the passage of a measure to legalize medical cocaine. Many say that those suffering depression and low ego are helped by the drug. However, Things got out of hand at the rally here today as arguments broke out about things that are really, really interesting. And fights broke out about the length of lines for the bathroom. It was amazeballs. Everyone grinding their teeth, paranoid, really into themselves, just like this town. And then everyone started fighting. 
Celebrity news. Legendary recluse and Vinewood eccentric Peter Dreyfus is rumored to be doing the one thing he has studiously avoided for 30 years. He's about to direct another movie. Industry insiders are overjoyed at the news. Sheila Hall at the scene. I've just spoken to a movie exec. He didn't want me to record him or use his name, but I promise you, he was here. Anyway, he told me he was really excited about the prospect of Dreyfus working again, only he couldn't remember any of his movies. Then he said actually liking old films was counterproductive in today's movie business. But he did love roller coasters and small plastic toys, and that was more important. Back to you in the studio. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Oh, away. Space. It's space. 103.2 Bob. 103.2. With the love have inside of me, we can turn this world around. We can live through all eternity And we never touch the ground We'll take a chance to ride upon a star To a place that's far away The light of love will shine on us Forever and a day Thank you.
What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, with this one. with anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, please. No. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubt. So why is she driving a tank on hers? <sighs> Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tadasana. Yes. Or mountain pole. Right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. Through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Out through the mouth. <laughs> Bullshit. You are an ugly man, Mikkel. Yoga. She is beautiful. These are the basics. You must master them. Air through the nose. And out the mouth. Exhale. It's like watching one of my kids take their first steps. Only an old version I resent. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it out. Feel all that hostility, insecurity, and self centeredness drift away. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Breathe out, please. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. <gasps> Feel that the emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikhail. Out with the breath. There. Let it go. Now, you breathe. Out through those wrinkled ah. lips. Maybe this is too complex. You have picked yourself up, and you will try again. You can breathe, can't you? Out through the mouth. There. There it is! The silly man forgets to breathe. Exhale. Oh, mother! Ah! 
High school Michael would have nailed that move. You are just a globule of sweat in the infinite depths of Ishvara's armpits. Breathe, Mikkel. Just exhale, Michael. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. Now, you breathe. Take a breath. Come on. Very good. Now let it go. You feel that? You can breathe, can't you? Let it out. Erect. Turgid. Hold it. Stroke it. The silly man forgets to breathe. Let it out. You're turning red. Later, you can show a stripper how flexible you are. I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? <laughs> Hold your anus strong, my child. Take in the air and release it. Breathe out, please. Your inner eye. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Let it out, baby. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Your lungs, they work, yes? Out with the breath. Okay. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it go. You're sweaty, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Take in the air and release it. Out through the mouth. Your aura is just like, wow. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Out through those wrinkled lips. Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Your lungs, they work, yes? Just exhale, Michael. Good. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward door. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. Back, back. Yes, there you go. Oh, oh, mm, oh, oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Wait, ah! Ah! Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh yeah, fuck you. You know what, if there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you like that sort of shit, and then I'll just rape your... Nice TV. I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. 
All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot. Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home, world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. But why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of this city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. This is Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up! You really Get have to meet my friend? Yeah, for a day. I really do. Then please fish. don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. The night before. We're very nautical here on Los Santos. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, what's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's your old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> Ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy, just just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. People from respecting their government. They are typical of the internet. All righty, then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? Does anyone think it's credible that the government would lie to them about something serious? Of course nuclear power is safe. Nearly as safe as oil. Which is why these are the fuels we subsidize. As Home already, please. We have slipped off the deck of a tanker in a storm. The idea is ludicrous. Controversial asset stripping venture capitalist Isaac Penny has announced his decision to take so, a. So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Transition. Whoosh. Some people don't take rejection well. According to eyewitnesses at the Pay More Shame auditions at May. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Holy shit. Really? This is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? I'm telling. No! I'm stopping! Oh, what was in there? It's harmless. Bets have been using it for decades. You anesthetize me? You fucking I'm shit. I'm protecting you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving what? out. All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on! Jimmy!
Anyone out here? Huh? Hello! I'm back! Hello! Hey! I'm home! Kids? Amanda! Anyone here? Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. 
Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. 